Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to talk about lesson number 61 or 68. I'll keep on. Okay, let's start. No matter how difficult English is, I'll keep on learning. No matter how terrible my pronunciation is, I'll keep on repeating. No matter how many people give up, I'll keep on working hard. No matter how people laugh at me, I'll keep on practicing. No matter how many obstacles are, no matter how many mistakes I make, I'll keep on speaking. No matter how defeated I feel, I'll keep on trying. No matter how many obstacles I meet along the way, I'll keep on striving until I reach my goal. Lesson 69. My words. I can't stand my poor English. I can't stand my shyness and laziness. I can't stand my changes of wasted time. I can't stand being looked upon. I can't stand being loved. I want to improve my situation. I want to change my life. I want to have confidence in myself. I want to build solid foundation for my future. I want to be successful. I want to be international. I don't want to let my parents down. I don't ever want to let my country down. Most importantly, I don't want to let myself down. Lesson 70. Rome wasn't built in a day. Learning English is like a building house. Language strong foundation is the first and most important step. In other words, you should read and speak English every single day. Memorizing new words is fast and is far. Memorizing new words and phrases is also helpful. Don't be impatient. Your English will be better step by step, day by day, year by year. When you want to give up, remember that nothing can defeat a person who never give up. Rome wasn't built in a day. If you want to learn English well, you need to have some need foundation in pronouncing Ellen by heart, sentence by sentence, passage blurt out. Don't don't be afraid of making mistakes. Don't be afraid of being loved. Uh, catching the chance to speak practice every single day. Make videos. That's a great way to learn English. Lesson 71. I have a great mother. I have a great mother. I think she's the most thoughtful person in the world. When I am sad, she's the most sympath sympathetic. When I'm sick, she's the most concerned. When I'm in trouble, she's the most helpful. In fact, she's the most dependable person in the world. She's the closest person to me. She's not only my mother, but, our, but also my best friend. Lesson uh, 72. Learning English starts from where? Hi, my friend. Uh, Many students ask me, where should I start learning English from? This is this is a big question for new learners, learners or for people who will to make English learning plan and then fail and quit. So in this video, I will tell you what you really need to learn English and learn to learn English and where to start. Very simple and fast. I know all of students worry about learning English, but in fact, learning English and speaking English is not difficult as you think. Everyone knows how important English is, but not many people know how to start in the right way. So, at first, you need to confidence and break all fear. All English learners speak English poorly before become excellent. That is the truth. Everyone made mistakes before getting better. Don't be sad and don't give up. If you speak English not well at the beginning time, it is normal speaking poor English when you start learning. Don't be afraid of losing face. Don't be afraid of being loved. You must enjoy. You must have full spirit to practice every time you can. When others go out, go to sleep, you practice international mouth muscle. When others laugh at you, you keep smiling and keep moving. When others complaining, you are practicing speaking English. Then when others fail to catch up, you are successful. So no or later, you must conquer English. Why not now? So no or later, you must speak English fluently. Now study English seriously. We start with the spirit of winners to have English passion every day to build English learning habits. Learning English will be very easy. We like it and it will it will like it and start in the right way. So where do we start? From the passion and love that super English can awake it from you. And then you can breathe through English every day. Every day you move your hand and practice pronunciation, practice international mouth muscle. Every day you shout clearly English to breathe the fear. Every day you stand in front of people and show your English. Every day you accumulate as many English titles and paragraphs as possible. Every day you dare to use English and, and talk to foreigners without any fear of losing face. 
without any fear of making mistakes. You can start learning English with all those things in Super English, and you will improve every day through special Super English lesson. We will start practicing Super English in the next video. See you in. Bye bye. Lesson 73 The Significance of Failure. Failure doesn't mean you are a failure, it doesn't mean you have a succeed yet. Failure doesn't mean you have accomplished nothing, it doesn't mean you have learned something. Failure doesn't mean you have been a fool, it doesn't mean you have not faith. Failure doesn't mean you have been you have been disgraced, it does mean you it does mean you are willing to try. Failure doesn't mean you are inferior, it does mean you are not perfect. Failure doesn't mean you wasted your life, it does mean you have reason to start fresh. Failure doesn't mean you should give up, it does mean you must try harder. Failure doesn't mean you will never make it, it does mean it will take a little longer. Failure doesn't mean God has abandoned you, it does mean God has a bad idea. Lesson 74 Success Chance I feel rich today, I am happy, I am healthy. I love myself, I love people, people love me. I love English, English is super, super easy. I want to speak perfect English. I I want to speak perfect English. Nothing can stop me. I never stop when I'm tired. I stop when I'm done. I am a champion. We are champions. I want to change my life. Lesson 75. The spirits of only big game. You are my adversary, but you are not my enemy. For your resist res resistance gives me strength. Your will gives me courage. Your spirit ennobles me. And the way I am to defeat you, should I succeed, I will not humiliate you. Instead, I will honor you. But without you, I am a lesser man. Lesson 76 You must enjoy losing face. If you want to speak English, you must enjoy losing face. You must enjoy making mistakes. You must enjoy speaking broken English. You must enjoy being loved. You must enjoy being lonely here. Good English speakers are the real chairs of our country. Lesson 77 Have a rude attitude. Poor attitudes lead to poor communication. Poor communication needs no customer. No customer needs no job. No job needs no money. No money needs no food. In the end, a poor attitude really will make you poor. Lesson 78 Follow to speak English well. This is Super English Show and I'm Gui. Welcome all of you to the videos Faru to speak English well. Rule number one readers. Readers is the first rule in learning English. Normally, your language cannot be free and broad. When you feel stressful and tired, you also cannot take the language into your head when you do not feel really nice. Language is a tool of communicating, tool to show your mind and your thought. You cannot learn English, you cannot speak English if your head is stuck. To practice this rule before learning, before practicing speaking English, you breathe in three times deeply and talk with yourself. Speaking English is very easy. For me, please, deep breath in, breath out. Speaking English is very easy, and I will speak English every day. Rule number two, memorizing. Normally, almost English learners think that they must memorize a lot of vocabulary, grammar to speak English well, so they get not confident because they think their ability of memorizing is bad. No, that's not truth. The truth is that. English will be the tool to help you improve your memory ability. Don't try to memorize vocabulary and grammar in traditional, in traditional way. What you need to do is to memorize as many English sentences as possible. The more sentences you have, the better your English level will be. Conquering English sentences not only helps you speak English immediately, but also help you learn vocabulary and grammar automatically. Don't study vocabulary and, vocabulary and grammar separately. You should memorize as many sentences as possible to use immediately. Memorizing English sentences also help you to be confident to talk with foreigners. So, I'm sure the question is how to memorize English sentences. The Super English Method has special techniques such as repeating, shocking body language to help you take English sentences. English paragraphs into the unconscious mind and use them anytime. In my next video videos, I will share with you these techniques in special super English lesson. Remember, studying English in the right way will help you fast improve your memory. The more English sentences you memorize, the better your English will be.
rule number three, reciting. You must remember this rule clearly and deeply. English will never be yours if you cannot recite words, sentences, or paragraphs by yourself. When you can recite a long English paragraph, I'm sure that you speak English confidently. Imagine you were in the Hoàng Kim Lake and going to Hàng Tây. You can tell foreigners the tale of Hoàng Kim Lake. Your English is good or not, and how many English words and English grammar you have through the tale a lot and a lot. Success in learning and speaking English decided by this rule. Almost English learners do not study deeply, so they cannot conference, so they cannot memorize and recite anything. That's why they never dare to speak English. There's a truth, simple principle that we just feel comfort. We just dare to do things that we did before. We just do something comfort if we did it before and cross. You only can speak English fluently if you speak the sentence and words before. So you should practice reciting short and long English paragraphs of super English. You will see the miracle happens. Super English paragraphs are very easy to learn and they can help you burst out English easily. Rule number four, the 3D rule. 3D means speak English loud, speak English as loudly, clearly, and quickly as possible. When practice, make sure that you speak loudly because it is the only way to know you speak right or wrong. Besides, loud speaking also improves your listening ability, raises up your confidence, develops your memorizing, then you never and never forget. Speak English as clearly as possible, help you pronounce each word, each sentence correctly. Produce the most confident feeling. The more important that speak English clearly helps you to build your standard international mouth muscle. This is the main factor, help you speak English correctly. Speak English as quickly as possible, help you a lot. The more quickly you speak, the better you can memorize English and never forget. The more quickly you speak, the faster your fast pronunciation will build. And the more you speak, the and the more you speak, the better your language feeling will be. These are because you see the fast international speaking of foreigner is not your problem anymore. You listen is not your problem anymore. You you listen English much more easier, and write English much better. Note the technique: speak English as quickly as possible. Only practice after you practice techniques speak English as loudly and clearly as possible. Don't be hard to try to speak English as quickly as possible. Because you could not do it well before building your international mouth muscle. Rule number five is stone. Be stone here means stubborn, stubborn like stone. This means no fear of wrong English, no fear to making mistake. My friend, humans get more errors when making mistake. You just speak English well after making a lot and lot of mistakes. Never care about how poorly or how well you speak. Only care about catching the chance to speak. Never care about what other people think. Only care about making progress. My friend, enjoy losing face, enjoy making mistakes, and enjoy being loved. All the best English speakers, you should be losing face, you should speak English poorly. So, what will you choose? One bad at English forever or two speaking poor English. Making mistake, being loved, then improve. What will you choose? Start learning English from now on immediately. You will speak English well. That's all about my lesson. See you in my next video. Bye bye.